driver's life when he or she wants to experience a comfortable ride. Something that's above the average run-of-the-mill driving experience. This is what spawned the luxury car, which was originally an exclusive breed of vehicles that was confined to brands like Cadillac and Mercedes-Benz. Luxury cars have made huge progress, and there's never been a better time to buy one. Finding a new or used luxury car isn't a hard task due to their high turnover rate, with owners generally trading them in every three years for a newer updated model. As a result, the luxury car marketplace is very For a newer updated model. As a result, the luxury car marketplace is very saturated, with hundreds of different models released over the past few decades. Unfortunately, many of these models are of substandard quality and even deadly. There are many luxury models that you should avoid at all costs due to safety, quality, and reliability. Luxury models that you should avoid at all costs due to safety, quality, and reliability issues. One way to shorten your list of options is to understand which luxury cars to avoid. Luckily for you, you clicked on this video because today you're going to learn about the deadliest luxury cars of all time. First on the list, we have the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. The C-Class has always been the entry-level trim to get into if you wanted a brand new Mercedes. But unfortunately, this luxury car can prove to be dead. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class was given a score of poor in its small overlap frontal crash test. Neither the side curtain nor the side torso airbags deployed in the test, and the dummy's foot was stuck beneath the brake pedal. It performed so poorly that the pedal had to be cut off to free the foot. The crash test also found that the seatboat allowed for too much forward movement, with the driver's head at risk of hitting the A-pillar, which is the vertical support near the driver's seat. And to top it all off, the C-Class isn't the most reliable car either. The main gripe with this luxury car is transmission failure, as well as unexplained overheating resulting in engine fires and repair costs can rack up quickly making the c-class a mistake of epic proportions up next we have the bmw 3 series the bmw 3 series has always been a reasonable way to get into a bmw for the first time and while the car is an excellent budget performer this is one of the most deadly luxury cars that you can get for starters, the early 2000 models were notoriously unreliable, with an engine that's known to blow head gaskets and overheat, creating a car that's simply undrivable. The 3 Series' crash test also highlighted major fatal shortcomings. During the test, the side torso airbag failed to deploy, and the side curtain airbags didn't have sufficient forward coverage to protect the head from contact with the side structure and outside objects. Meanwhile, the car's foot the head from contact with the side structure and outside objects. Meanwhile, the car's footrest ended up hitting the driver, which would cause injuries to the ankle, the heel, and the lower right leg. So if safety is a top priority, the 3 Series should not be on your list. Up next, we have the Tesla Model X. Although the Model X received a perfect score in the Consumer Reports owner survey, with the majority of buyers happy with the purchase, we feel obligated to include it on this list due to the vehicle's unreliability and its fatally flawed autopilot system. In terms of reliability, Consumer Reports found it to be one of the least reliable vehicles in 2017, discovering issues related to the brakes, its interior trim, its all-wheel drive system, and much more. But the most shocking fatal flaw of the Tesla Model X is its autopilot system. Although Tesla claims that its self-driving technology makes driving safer and reduces traffic, in reality, this technology has proven to be ineffective at best and fatally flawed at worst. In 2018, a Tesla Model X crashed into a concrete median near Mountain View, California. The car's automated autopilot feature crashed it into a narrow concrete barrier at over 80 miles per hour, after which it was struck twice by two following vehicles and exploded into flames. Another Tesla Model X autopilot crash happened in January of 2018 when a Tesla slammed into a parked fire truck. Tesla's response was that autopilot is intended for use only with a fully attentive driver. So to sum it all up, the Tesla Model X may be fast and it may have some road presence, but there's nothing luxurious about a service bay or crashing due to faulty autopilot technology. Up next, we have the Mercedes-Benz GL. The Mercedes-Benz GL was first launched in 2006 to compete in the luxury SUV segment, though many of Observers felt it was a little late to the party. Some of the most common problems with the Mercedes-Benz GL include rough shifting, brake and rotor failure, and oil leakage coming from the vent housing. Another
another hot problem with the GL is that the car's seat warmers can smoke and even catch fire. According to carcomplaints.com, one owner claims that they turned on the seat warmer while driving. In a very short amount of time, there was a strong burning smell and thick smoke. They felt intense heat on their back and realized the source was the seat itself. And within minutes, a cloud of smoke filled the car. Up next, we have the BMW X5. The X5 is a mid-sized luxury SUV from BMW that was produced since 1999. According to BMW, the X5 is more tailored as a sports activity vehicle rather than an SUV. The most common problem reported is the air suspension, which can cost around $3,000 to fix. You're also likely to experience problems with the thermostat, the water pump, front universal joint failure, fuel pump leakage, and airbag ruptures. Valve cover gasket leaks as well as a loss of power steering due to leaking hoses are also common. BMW did a better job with the 3 Series but failed to impress with the X5. Up next, we have the Maserati Ghibli. Named after a Japanese animation studio or a Liberian desert wind, the Ghibli is Maserati's latest mistake. Various automotive outlets have named it the worst luxury car of all time. And it's not that hard to see why. Compared to any other luxury cars in its class, the Ghibli has terrible fuel economy. A cramped cabin despite being a mid-sized sedan and interior styling that is extremely outdated. The Italian sedan's in-car technology can compete with systems in more up-to-date yet equally deadly cars, like the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the BMW 3 Series. There's also an overall lack of build quality that would be distressing to anyone dropping close to six figures for this car. Also, the suspension is rock hard and weighs a shocking 4,100 pounds. The Ghibli is stylish on the outside and is actually fast, but unfortunately, that's all it has going for it. Up next, we have the Lexus IS250. Like many of the luxury cars on this list, the Lexus IS250's fatal flaw stems from its poor crash test rating, where it was given a score of poor in its overlap crash test. During the test, the car's side airbags failed multiple times causing the driver's head to be forced out of the driver's side window. Also, the brake pads had to be cut off in order to free the right foot. The car's overall structure, lower leg and foot window. Also, the brake pads had to be cut off in order to free the right foot. The car's overall structure, lower leg and foot protection, and passenger restraint received poor scores during the test. Secondly, the Lexus IS250 came with a lackluster motor that was anything but athletic. Power came from a lacking 2.5 liter V6 that was both undersized and overly constricted by power robbing emission systems, leaving both critics and drivers underwhelmed. On a good day, this V6 produced 204 horsepower and 185 pound-feet of torque which is barely more than the old Honda Civic Si. And that car was a four-cylinder. In 2013, reviewers referred to the old Lexus 250 as neither sporty nor luxurious, and dinged it heavily for having acceleration that, quote, lacks punch. Up next, we have the Lexus ES350. The sister car of the IS250, the ES350, proves to be equally fatal. For starters, the car's pre-collision system has a habit of failing. In certain driving situations, the system could interpret a steel road joint or a steel plate in the road surface as an obstacle causing the system to activate. When this critical malfunction occurred, the vehicle's brakes were applied automatically. Brake assist mode was activated, the front seatbelts were tightened, and the driver would hear a loud, blaring warning buzzer, all of which increased the likelihood of a fatal accident tenfold. And again, like the Lexus IS250, the Lexus ES350 performed terribly in its crash test. During the test, the dummy's head barely made contact with the front airbag, with the head sliding off to the left side. Meanwhile, the steering column moved significantly to the right and up, diminishing protection to the chest in a high-impact collision. Neither the side curtain airbag nor the side torso airbag deployed in the crash test. It was also noted that injuries to the left knee and left lower leg, ankle, and heel would be very likely in a crash of this severity. Up next, we have the Lincoln MKZ. The Lincoln MKZ takes every consistent theme from this list and balls them up into one seriously revolting product. Ugly? Check. Out of date? You bet. Bad in-car technology? Obviously. Deadly? Definitely. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and the dated 6-speed automatic transmission make it a truly sad luxury car. But it can also be very deadly, as it scored a poor rating during its frontal crash test, in which the dummy's head and chest completely missed the frontal airbags, while the side curtain airbags didn't provide sufficient forward coverage for the head. As a result, spending $44,000 on this luxury car would be a very poor decision. Up next, we have the Range Rover. Unreliability plus expensive parts and labor rates are not a good combination. But that's what you get when you buy a Range Rover. What's up, everyone? 
Rover. The Range Rover is one of the UK's most iconic vehicles. So people seem to have a love and hate relationship with it. One thing is for certain, people don't buy this thing because of its reliability. The first generation Range Rover wasn't designed to be a luxury vehicle. It was a basic SUV with a functional interior design. The new generation model sharply contrasts this. In terms of reliability, there have been numerous complaints over the years. Problems can range from a timing belt pulley requiring an entirely new engine costing around $6,000, transmissions that seize without warning costing you around $3,000, head gasket failures that can run from a rebuild to a full engine replacement, issues with brake rotor and pad wear, and the list goes on. Up next, we have the Mercedes-Benz CLA. The CLA earns its place on this list for a slew of unfortunate reasons. Despite its luxury name tag, this car offers one rough ride, one you would expect from a car half the price. And it also has a cramped interior, with little in the way of head or leg room. Cargo space is also an issue, since it's limited to a maximum of 41.8 cubic feet. The standard four-cylinder engine has more than enough power, but the automatic transmission ruins it with a very lackluster performance. Well guys, those are the deadliest luxury cars of all time.